crazy, right? What are your superpowers? Superpowers, dude, I don't even know how to pee in this thing. Hi everyone, welcome back to Roll the Credits. My name is Hannah and this is the channel for everyone who's interested in film, TV and pop culture. This past Wednesday, I went to the Odeon Cinema Limitless screening of Shazam, a brand new superhero film coming from DC Comics and it is hilarious. This is gonna be a review of Shazam, so I'm just gonna go straight into the premise of the entire film. So Shazam is an old wizard, the only one left of the Seven Thrones, and he is on a mission to find a person with the purest heart to give his entire magic powers to. The reason why he wants someone with the purest heart is because he once gave the person called the champion all of the power and he misused it so Shazam doesn't want to make the mistake one more time. So he is out after the purest of hearts. When Shazam invites a young boy to take the test if he has the purest of hearts. So this boy seems to be bullied by both his father and brother and he sat in a car and he is transported into this magical cave where he meets the old wizard of Shazam. Now this boy is giving the opportunity to either see the powers from Shazam but he is also tempted by the evils of the seven deadly sins taunt him and trick him to taking the more evil power. Shazam declines him his powers and he is sent back to his car with his dad and brother. 30, 40 years later, we meet an orphan called Billy Batson, a 40 year old kid who's just moved in with a new foster family after having run away from his previous foster family on his mission to find his birth mother who he lost in a crowd 12 years ago. In this new family, he meets his foster brother, Freddy, who is a humongous superhero comic book fan and knows everything that there is to know about comic book heroes. Freddy tr really tries to befriend Billy, but Billy only has his mind on one thing and it is to find his mother, so he doesn't want to make any connections with this new foster family. After saving Freddy from some school bullies, Billy finds himself chased down into the subway in Philadelphia where he is magically transported into the magic cave of Shazam. This is shortly after Shazam has been visited by Thaddeus Savannah, played by Mark Strong, and he has come back to the magical cave. After years of trying research to find his way back, he finally managed to get back to the magical cave and this time he came to retrieve the evil powers of the seven deadly sins. So Shazam invites orphan Billy Batson to come in because he finds bravery in Billy's actions in the saving and protecting Freddy from the school bullies. All you have to do is grab hold of Shazam's staff and yell out this word and he will receive all the magic powers that Shazam has. Billy does this and all of a sudden we have Zachary Levi as a older version of Billy or like his superhero alter ego and he is the new champion of humanity. So he is called the chosen one or the champion and because he inherits all of the good powers that a superhero needs. He doesn't look like he would be the superhero that is going to save mankind but just you wait and see, he is pretty dang dope. Knowing only one person will be able to understand and help him out, Billy, or now as his superhero alternative, goes back to the foster home and finds Freddy, and together they try and figure out Billy's new powers and their full capability. That is pretty much the plot of the film, and it is hilarious, it is such a funny film, but there is one thing that just doesn't make sense, and it is how dark the villain is like the villain has the power of the seven deadly sins and the seven deadly sins are these humongous scary looking monsters who will ravish people to death considering the trailer and the marketing for this film was like happy-go-lucky this is about a kid who becomes a superhero and it's kind of like tom hanks and big how uh, it kind of has that feel to it but then there's like this super dark and twisted and really horrific villain who kills people and there's blood and gore and stuff and it that just doesn't really flow together as well as you wanted and it kind of goes away against all the marketing that was done for this film as a kid friendly and family oriented superhero film. Despite this I was absolutely freaking amazed by Shazam. I watched the trailer for it when I went to see Captain Marvel. I thought it looked like the most ridiculous film, but once I sat down in the cinema, I was laughing my head off the entire time, and it was 
so good. Some of the plots are quite disappointing. The entire plot of Billy finding his mother, it just kind of runs out in the sand and I'm quite disappointed that there wasn't really more to that. Shazam is definitely one of the better superhero films I have seen in recent years. There have been so many superhero films. I feel that they all get kind of diluted and they all like merge into each other and you don't really remember what happens. Shazam in a way feels like DC's versions of Deadpool, just that it is more kid and family oriented as it is more of a like the humor is more for younger kids than it than Deadpool would be. Also the casting of Shazam is incredible. I love the young kids. All the young kids are fantastic and Mark Strong is probably one of the most underrated actors like he needs more recognition than he is getting for all of his roles and also Zach Levi is incredible and is playing an older version of Billy although there is a little bit he does get more ridiculous when he is in his like superhero outfit than like the cool 14 year old kid I feel that he's more like a kid when he is a superhero than in his actual like kid self. And also the little kid who plays Freddy looks very much like Adam Brody. And I'm not that, I'm not saying any spoilers, but he looks exactly like Adam Brody. And that casting is just absolutely fantastic. The humor in this film is on par. It is so funny and it is directed both to like kids and also adults. Most of the humor would probably go over the head of really, really young kids. So like in general, it's like a perfect family film. There are certain, like, as I said in the beginning, the villain is very dark and there is one scene that is very dark. This is a perfect film to bring your family or if you have siblings, younger siblings, you can bring them along. If they do get scared easily, then cover their eyes for certain scenes but it is a really good film and it is super funny. So yeah, overall, I think that it is definitely one of the better like superhero films that we have had in recent years. And I think partly is because it doesn't have anything to live up against. So like most of the Marvel, like the Marvel universe, all the Avengers films, they always have something to live up to and match. But whereas this one is kind of a standalone and it can do it its own thing. Kind of like Deadpool 1 could just do its own thing. It was just like a funny film and I feel that Shazam is kind of working on it the same lines as Deadpool just for a younger audience. So yeah, there we have it. The, that was my review of Shazam. Definitely go check it out when it comes out in the cinema. I think it's next week. I did get a little preview through my Odeon Limitless. I hope you enjoyed this review and that you feel tempted to go watch Shazam. It's out in the cinema on the 5th of April, I believe. So go to the cinema and watch Shazam. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that little bell button so you're notified when I upload. If you didn't know, I upload every Saturday, so make sure you subscribe to not miss out. I will see you again with a new video next week. Roll the credits. We leave tall buildings in a single bound.